what's happening, what it is, and what it do, man. Welcome back to the channel. This your boy, Be Mitch, and I have the pleasure of bringing you Money Mitch TV. You did? This is the video I've been waiting for all year, man. So, if you're a new member returning, uh, first time watching, watch me for a second, have never subscribed, man. Subscribe, it's free, it's down below. I appreciate it. And hit that notification bell so you can join the Money Gang and be notified anytime your boy drop anything new. You did? Now that we got that out of the way, man, I'm jumping straight into this top 10 list, man. Uh, this is the third time me shooting this list. I don't know what's up with my phone. It's been like muffled when I've been doing this video. But anyway, let's jump straight into it. This is my list. This is my top 10. I am Mr. Like What You Rock. Rock What You Like. With that being said, I'm not a hype beast. I rock my shoes of how I like them, man. If I like the shoe, I'm going to wear it. And that's what depends on my list. You did. Now that we got it out of the way, man, let's jump straight to it. I ain't wasting time already. Honorable mention was my number 11. Honorable mention was my uh, Oma Talents, the black and gold ones. I brought you like two videos ago. I didn't put them down here. I actually forgot to grab them, but that was my number 11. All right, so checking out the number 10 shoe on my list, man, which was a dope joint when it came out. Leather materials, uh, different kind of, different leather on it, but I like the shoe, man. So without further ado, number 10 on my top 10 list is the Jordan 1. Pine Green 2.0. Like I said, very nice tumble leather. Um, mine actually gives. It's not the hardest, not the softest leather. Pause. But it is a nice shoe, nice color blocking, something I don't have in the collection. The shoe had to make number 10, and it just so happened to be the Jordan 1 Pine Green 2.0s. Now I'm moving along to number 9. This was a shoe I had up, and I moved it down. Uh, kind of wish it came with a briefcase like it did back in the day. So we ain't gonna waste time. You probably already know what I'm talking about. Coming in at number nine on my top 10 Jordan 1s of 2020 is the Jordan 1. He just, he, he just flat, man. He, he just flat. Feel me? Leather leather on it, dope. Shoes you gonna wear every day. It's a clean shoe. That's kind of what pushed the shoe down to number nine. But a clean one. Uh, Button like Wings logo. I've seen it before on my uh, Fearless men's pair. It has that same kind of like button logo, Wings logo. But no shoe. Somebody had to make number nine, and it just so happened to be Jordan One, Tokyo. I moved on there to number eight, man. This is a clean shoe. This is off a of vintage look, vintage vibe. Uh, when I wear this shoe, I actually tried it on right before I did this video. That's what pushed it up and puts the Tokyo down one. Um, it also made me want to drink a Heineken. <laughs> With that being said, number eight on my top ten list is the Jordan 1 Lucky Green 2.0 Women's Edition. You did. You did nice, man. So, coming in number seven. I love when I did this on feet. Uh, the only reason I put this shoe down to number seven is because this same colorway I have it in. Couple other different Jordan 1s. But a clean Jordan 1 in my opinion. You did. So, coming in at number... 10, 9, 8, 7 on my top 10 Jordan 1s is the Jordan 1. Man, I love Jordan 1s. It's a dope silhouette to me. Easy to rock. Nice leather. Uh, leather gives. Not the hardest, not the softest. It's a little cow ass. It's a little nicer cow ass leather, but it's flesh, man. Dope Jordan 1. Only thing that kind of like pushed it down on my list was this. I wish it was in black. Man, it was definitely. One somebody had to make number seven, and it just so happened to be the Jordan One. So now, coming in at number seven is a dope colorway, man. I like this shoe, you can wear the shoe all year round, especially in the winter time. Those grays on this shoe right here pop. Coming in at number seven is the Jordan One. Super gray thing, you did. These are nice, these are gas, man. Like I said, man, they hit different in the winter time, man. It's just on the bottom. And when you want to bring out in the summer, spring, the gray pop off of that red. You feel me? Dope colorway. Switch out the laces, black, white, red. Whatever you feel like with it. To make number six on the list, and it just so happened to be the smoke gray Jordan 1. You did. I moved along top five, top five. Yes, Sersky. These top five could have been any way. Uh, they, have, they could have gone any way. This is a dope shoe. This shoe right here is probably my most controversial video of the year. 
It's why I exposed StockX for selling me a fake pair of these. But luckily, I sold them right back to StockX. I took an L. You can check out Exposing StockX or the Aftermath of Exposing StockX. With that being said, don't shoot it. I was thinking it was going to be number one for a while. At the beginning of the year, somebody had made number five on the list, and it so happened to be the women's. You see to Chicago, Philly, Spain. You dig? These are nice. These are nice. Nice goosebump leather on mine. Finally got me a legit nice pair. Um, the color blocking. You know what I mean? In the summertime, I, I would mess around and throw on like a, a some you see shorts or some something like that. You feel me? But help you, man. In my opinion, these are gas, man. These have, these could have gone up. Not down, they would have been in the top five no matter what. And shoe had to make number five. It was the NC the Chicago Women's Edition. You feel me? Now that we're running through this list, this top four, man. Uh, the shoe that's coming in number four may make a lot of you guys mad. I like that though, man. Because this is a YouTuber, shoe tuber, who gives you their honest opinion who is not a hype beast. Yes, me. I am not a hype beast. With that being said, this is not the joint one of the year. Definitely not. He could definitely make top five. You feel me? But let me go make y'all mad. Coming in at number four on my top ten list is the Jordan One. Fuka. Hey, you feel me? These are nice. These are gas, man. These are not Travis Scott. These are not. This is just a plain ass leather. Nothing spectacular about this leather on this stuff. Now the suede on the back is definitely nice. The suede is nice. But it's no tumble. It's not it's not soft, it's stiff. It's not a it's not just a, it's a regular shoe, man. You feel me? And when I show y'all number three, I'm mad, but just hear me out. So once you had to make number four on the list, and it just so happened to be the Jordan one, mocha things, you did. Y'all saying that's number four. What's number three? It's another shoe I can wear all year round. This dope. I got a nice pair on mine, man. The leather is soft on mine. The toe box is tumbled. The lateral meter panel is tumbled. The shoe had to make number three in my top three. Coming in at number three is the Jordan 1. Pine, oh, purple court 2.0. I almost said pine green. You did it. Mine has a nice, look at that. I hope the camera picks that up. panel and like I said man I'm gonna bring back out this mocha just to show y'all hopefully the camera picks it up you can see the toes it tumbled on me now it's a softer leather man I will do a comparison video make sure you check out my mocha unboxing video on feed all that where I can go more in depth on why <laughs> But a shoe had to make number three, and that shoe just so happened to be the purple court two point. When it comes down to this top two, this two, these two can go either way, man. About right now, man. There ain't no need to play with y'all, guy. Either way you want to rock it, these are nice. The materials on these things are dope. Um, these are gas, man. Jordan definitely executed. Both of these shoes to perfection. Um, from the tumble, goosebump leather on these guys. Nice soft cow ass leather on the Tizon, the meter panel. Look at these, man. Oh, goosebump, then, uh, look at these. You feel me? These are nice. These are gas, man. You did. And when it comes down to this bio hack, just the colorway. Joy executed perfectly. Uh, they took the dump. Turned into a joint one. These are gas, man. Disposed foam tongue, the stitching. Uh, you can switch out the laces four, five, six times if you want. So, between the two, man, just to make it easier so I don't gotta ramble and run through them all day, man. Uh, two. On my top 10 list, man. Y'all stopping through checking out that top 10 list, man. Feel free down below to comment your opinions. Let me know what you thought, what you think of my top 10 list. Again, I'm not a hype beast. I gave y'all my honest opinion of shoes, how I like them, how I rock them. Um, I kind of base it off of if I seen all of them on the wall, 
what would be the first one I would grab then from, from there on all the way down they kind of helped me do it got a couple more videos on the way so stay tuned got my top five joint one low pickup got my top 20 pickups of 2020 uh, that'll be dropping either tomorrow or Saturday bringing in the new year man other than that man be safe appreciate y'all use the gas man other than that like I always tell you man make sure at the end of the day at the end of the day everybody in here likes what you brought Hey, Rock what you like, man. It's been your boy, B Mitch. This has been Money Mitch TV. I'm screaming to the team. Gang, gang. Welcome 2021, y'all. Let's get it. <laughs>